you know, I mentioned Alzheimer's disease and the, and the growing instances of that. Do we have a handle on why that's happening and what's going on that leads to that increase? The biggest reason that we're seeing so much Alzheimer's disease is that we're finally recognizing it and that people are living longer. Age is the greatest single risk factor. By age 65 or older, the risk is about 10 percent. By age 85 or older, it can be as high as 45 or 50 percent. And years ago, we, we didn't see it as a disease in late life. We just thought that people normally got senile as they aged, and that was a normal part of aging. Now we recognize it's not normal. And in fact, our studies using brain scans and, and many autopsy studies have found that the evidence of the disease can be observed in people decades before they get obvious symptoms of dementia. So this is probably something that's percolating in all of our brains over many, many years. And these kinds of lifestyle choices that we're talking about that we highlight in our books really do make a difference in slowing down the onset of symptoms. When, and correct me if I'm wrong, but we don't know if someone has Alzheimer's until you can physically look at the brain, is that correct? Diagnose it through after they've dece been deceased, correct? Well, to, to make a definitive diagnosis, that's true. You need to see autopsy tissue or, on a rare occasion, a, a brain biopsy. But there are new methods to scan the brain. In fact, uh, we developed one of the first ones where you can actually see the amyloid plaques and tau tangles that define the disease in living people. So I think. You know, even though you can't make a definitive diagnosis without autopsy tissue, you can get pretty close to being accurate about the diagnosis. So where I was leading with that was, is you can tell now um, someone that has Alzheimer's versus, versus some sort of other uh, dementia condition, or at least have a better idea? To some extent, you can. I mean, certainly for many years, we, we could use PET scans to differentiate Alzheimer's disease from another kind of dementia called frontal temporal dementia. And that's important because the medicines used to treat Alzheimer's don't always help the patients with frontal temporal dementia. Mm -hmm. So we can use these, these methods to help pinpoint the diagnosis. And that's important because the sooner we understand what's going on, the sooner we treat people, the better the outcome.